See, I told you I'd be a few hours, didn't I? Do you eat the cereal I left out for you? Mm hmm Good girl. Holding the bag is you, and that tall pretty one is Mummy. Annabelle, we talked about this, remember? Mummy's gone now. She's gone and she's not coming back. Yeah, I know. But you said that Mummy's gone on a very long holiday, and you said that. Maybe one day we'll see her again. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I miss her. Yeah. Yeah, I miss her too, honey. But hey, you still got me. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. And look, you've got Mummy's old necklace to remind you how much she loves you. How much I love you. <laughs> Here. 
How about we go to the park? We can practice for the school rounders team. Okay. <laughs> Ready to go? Yeah. Go on then, squiggle. Remember what I told you, yeah? Always keep your eye on the ball. Never take your eye off it. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, when life throws you something, you take your shot, all right? Are you ready? Hey, that's my squiggle! <laughs> <Whee! laughs> oh, see, I told you, we're gonna be all right, aren't we? Come on, let's go find your ball, yeah? Oh, cheers. Right, uh, you get in the car, I'll be over in a minute, alright? Thank you. 
excuse me. Can I help you? No, no, you're all right. Yeah, if you've got some post, that's great. If not, do you mind exiting my drive? Look, look, mate, you're, you're freaking out my kids. My daughter, I'm no. not your fucking mate, all right? Get the fuck back. You know, you're a fucking psycho. What did you just say? I said you're a fucking <laughs>each of them have that voice in their head that they wish they could just drown out, but it never seems to stop. And sometimes it might feel like it never will, that it will never get better. But it does. It's hard, but it gets easier, I promise you. It must. However you're feeling, you can let it out. You can be sad about it, but there is so much more to each of you than that. Now our trauma can mould us and make us into the people we are today, but it is up to each of us to take that and make ourselves into the version of ourselves that we want to be, and not the version of ourselves that we are afraid to be. I see there are a couple of new faces in the room today. How about we get to know you? Now, I want you to know that this is a safe space where you can talk about whatever you want. We don't do judgment here. No volunteers. <laughs> All right, I'll pick. You. What's your name? Felix. Okay, Felix. Why don't you tell us why you're here? Come on, Felix. This doesn't work unless you let us in. So I'm going to ask you again. Why are you here? Court and dated therapy. Okay. Why don't you tell us why you need to be here then? I... I assaulted a man. Can you tell us what led up to the assault? Felix? My daughter. I'm sorry? I said, my daughter, someone killed my daughter, somebody killed my little girl, she's dead! It's okay, Felix. You're talking to a room full of people who lost their loved ones. I personally lost. That's what brought me here. You lost your brother? Yes. I did. How? How did you escape it? Escape what? The noise. The, the voice that torments you. Every night you lie awake in bed alone. Do you make it stop? You don't. You learn to live with it. You learn to live with yourself. 
you find peace. I was wondering if you wanted to go for a walk and a talk. Nah, I'm alright. I think you are. And I don't think you think you are. Listen, what, what you were talking about today, it's not going to get easier unless you learn to deal with it properly. Now, you don't need to talk to me about it, but you need to find someone. Because otherwise, that voice, it's not going to go away. You smoke. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. You got a light? Yeah, hang on. Oh, thanks. Can't be trusted to carry one. <laughs> What's your name? Ethan. <laughs> this isn't the first time you've lost someone, is it, Felix? How'd you know? I've seen enough people in my line of work to know when someone's lost all sight of where to go from here. You don't believe therapy will work because you've already done it. Therapy didn't help me last time. It was my daughter that kept me going. And now she's gone. You don't have anything to pull you out of that pit you're in. Who'd you lose before? My wife. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if I lost my wife. We had this scare a while back. I, she was on these meds. So. What's that? Belong to her. My wife. When she died, she passed it on to our daughter. This is my turn. Your turn? What for? Look! I didn't come here for your pity! I know, it fucking sucks, because that's my life! When my wife died, there was no one responsible. It was no one's fault. I know I did everything I possibly could, but this... Someone ran over my daughter and just drove away. They smashed their car into my life and just drove away. All I need now is some... Justice for my daughter, my little girl! And what, Felix? You won't be happy till you find the person responsible? <laughs> happy! <laughs> happy? <laughs> that is a luxury that is long gone now. All I need now is some peace for in here. You know, the police might have stopped searching for that prick responsible. But I never will. I won't rest until I find them. And, and then what, Felix? Kill them? Could you really do that? My brother was killed during a robbery. It wasn't fair. It wasn't his fault. But you can't spend your life dwelling on someone else. You've got to keep going. You've got the rest of your life to live. Don't waste it. I know, it's hard. But you need to realise that if you want that peace, you have to let go. Isn't that what Annabelle would want? What she would have wanted? Stop letting your trauma control you. Stop letting it beat you. You can have a whole new life, a better life. If I'd gone down the route that you're going down right now, I would not be here today. You can have that peace you're looking for, I promise you. The moment, the moment, Felix, that you stop and you take control of it.
for believing that I am worth saving. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Come on. You don't want noise complaints. <laughs> so, what do you do for a living? I'm a postman. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Oh, just this terrible joke I used to tell my wife. She absolutely hated it. Oh my god, you have to tell me now. All right. So I'm sat there and my wife walks in and I say, hey, can you help me? I'm doing this crossword and the clue is overworked postman. Okay. And she says, how many letters? And I say, too many. <laughs> oh for God's sake. <laughs> That's so bad. I think I agree with your wife there. You know, my wife always used to say, never piss off a postman. They know where you live. <laughs> true, true. And anyway, this is me. So, um, look, I'll see you later, okay? Yeah, see you later. Oh, Felix, by the way, um, there's a session tomorrow morning at 8. I could come around and pick you up? Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd like that. Nice. All right, I'll see you then, okay? Yeah. Take care of yourself, okay? Uh, yeah, you too. I love you. and then Okay, uh, see you later, Felix. Yeah, you can count on it.
You've got a really pretty wife. Now she must need a lot to you. Why did you do it? Do what? What for Felix? I don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> Judge. No. Jerry. No, 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 no,
You know it's blonde for a little girl, right? Not in maths anymore. As I said, you're done. Felix Durden? Yeah. What? I have some news for you that you may find upsetting. Can I come inside? Anything you want to say, you can say out here, officer. Okay, well, if you insist. We've managed to track down the driver that ran over your daughter. Really? Who? You'll find all you need to know in this document. I am sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. Have a good day, Mr. Dunn. I don't know what I'd do if I lost my wife. We had this scare a while back. I, she was on these meds. So. I don't know what I'd do with her. You smoke? Don't tell my wife. You know, my door is always open if you ever want to chat. <laughs> Unless my wife's got to drag me away on some nonsense. Well, she must mean a lot to you. You know, my wife always used to say, never piss off a postman. They know where you live. <laughs> True. True. Thank you. 